What is happening guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to take you through my push workout that I did uh, yesterday, which was February the 6th, and just talk about how things are going as far as training goes at this stage in the game. So we are currently, as of yesterday, Wednesday, nine and a half weeks out from first show of 2019, and that's April 13th for those of you that do not know. Uh, the Coburg Naturals, which is put on by the Canadian Physique Alliance, the CPA. Um, supposed to be a pretty good show, and I'm, I'm super pumped. Anticipating creeping under the 150s. Yes, that's right. Under 150 pounds. I really think we're going to do it this time, so uh, I'm really excited to see how things look. Anyways, let's get into the training. So, started with incline Smith Press, superset with seated lateral raise. Um, on the Smith guys, worked up to... I think a heavy maybe 8 to 10 and then did a, a back off for 15 and then on the laterals we did uh, four sets total of 20 reps. Uh, actually grabbed the 25s today because I was feeling really good going into this workout. Uh, I had a, a little bit more time I guess you could say. Some clients shuffled around because we had a, a pretty bad ice storm so some clients shuffled around which allowed me to get a little bit more volume in and not feel so rushed. Usually I just have an hour to get this push session in. That's just the way my day works. And uh, not complaining because I can still get it done, but it's sometimes a little bit nicer to, uh, you know, have a little bit more time and not feel so so rushed with things and, and watching the clock between sets because I feel like I'm, you know, rushing and I don't want to go over my time. So it was nice. It was nice. So after that we went into uh, cable flies, which this cable is not the best. It's a little jagged. You might notice the reps aren't overly smooth, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. We still are, are able to get it done. And we superset that with, uh, I believe, what they're referred to as is Egyptian lateral raises. So the cable is between your legs, and then you raise the arm up, obviously hitting the, the lateral delt. So we did three sets of that, uh, hitting 8 to 12 on the cable fly, and then 15 on the lateral raise. Um, I'm a fan of the higher rep range on the lateral raise personally, but that's just me. Um, so training wise guys, before we get into some new exercises, I'll let this footage play. Uh, training is going really, really well. Uh, I was suffering from, and even still it kind of lingers, I might sound a little nasally, but I was suffering from this stupid cold that was just hanging on and it was really, you know, being a downer, it was just, training was... You know, I could get it done and, and I got through it, but it just was, it was harder than it needed to be, especially with the the stresses of prep and stuff like that. I didn't need to be sick at the same time, and, and I'm thankful that it's, you're basically gone, I'd say, besides me blowing my nose periodically through the day. I don't feel bad um, when I train. I don't feel like I'm, you know, hindered at all, so that's good. Um, and I'm excited to to keep the ball rolling over the next few weeks. Uh, I haven't had to drop calories at all for, oh shit, probably six to eight weeks now. We've been rolling on this 2,500 calorie kick, and uh, it's just been very, very smooth. My body has just been responding really well. Cardio is still quite minimal, and uh, and I'm just excited to see you know what package we're going to bring to the stage. I'm at a position right now where we're going to bring the best that I can bring, and you know, to give you some perspective, my last show was November 2017, and when I was 10 weeks out, I was 168 pounds, and this past weekend marked 10 weeks out, and I was 159.7, so we're basically 9 pounds ahead, 9 pounds leaner than the last time I competed, and I'm confident that I've put on, you know, maybe a pound or so of muscle since then in good spots. Uh, meaning, you know, my shoulders and my legs a little bit. So we're just, we're just excited to, to, you know, say the least, guys. Like I just, this sport is all about being your best. Yes, everybody wants to win. They want that first place. But at the end of the day, I'm really excited to compare the stage shots from November to, to April. That's going to be pretty cool because that's going to be, you know, like a year and change, year and a half difference. And, and to see the hard work pay off will be pretty cool. Um, so back to the exercises, we just did some Smith overhead press, ended up doing three sets of that, um, hanging around that eight to 12 rep range. And then since, as I mentioned earlier, I had a little bit more time, 
I did uh, these dumbbell upright rows and then I would superset with a clean and press, not overly heavy on the bar. Uh, I believe I had 40s for the upright row, so that was uh, heavy and then we just kind of like bash the shoulders with this clean and press for 10 reps. Again, nothing overly heavy, but uh, it definitely gassed the shoulders out and I used it more so as a finisher than a, you know, a builder, right? Because we had all those lateral raises before and then the heavy press and this was more so just because I had more time to just do a little bit more. I was having fun with it. I was feeling good. The gym was empty. I had the headphones blasting. Like I was just feeling good and uh, you know, I was happy with how I was looking. The veins were pumping. I know it's hard to see in this footage, not the best lighting, but you know, I was just in, in a good spot with uh, how I was feeling during this workout. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do some extra stuff and uh, just have at it. And that's kind of been my mentality, guys, uh, throughout this prep and especially over these next you know, nine weeks heading into the show that if I've got a little bit more in the tank, I'm going to try to push it. I'm going to try to get a little bit, you know, eke out every little ounce of energy out of my body and just really just work like that. That's what I'm thinking right now. It's just, I just want to work and be my best. So that's what we're chasing. Um, so we finished with some tricep work, just some direct tricep isolation. So we did uh, bar press downs. Now this cable on this movement is good. It just seems to be like certain angles aren't smooth, but this, uh, like when I do the tricep push downs, it's super smooth. Um, I did, first set was like a 15, kind of get the blood in there, and then I did like a heavy six to se six, seven, I think, and then dropped it down again for like a solid eight to 12. And then we finished with some dumbbell skull crushers, and on the last set did like a burnout with a drop set. So really, really solid workout. If you guys want to give it a shot, uh, let me know in the comments below. Give this workout a try. Definitely fills up all of the blood in in the upper body, in the in the pushing muscles, most notably. So, anyways, guys, that's a little training update for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as I said, this weekend marks nine weeks out from the first show of the year, so I'm super pumped, super stoked. Hope you guys are enjoying the content, enjoying this documentation of my prep. Be sure to like and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.